Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about solar PV battery powered electric vehicle. The electric vehicle having uh, SRM motor. So SRM nothing but a switch reluctance motor. It going back to say electric vehicle. That means transmission system in the electric vehicle. And here you can see that so this is a simulation model for a the solar PV battery powered electric vehicle with the SRM motor. So this model consists of a, a PV system and then PV going to be connected to the common uh, DC bus. So this is a common DC bus. So the PV going to be connected to the common DC bus via this bus converter. And then this bus converter going to be controlled by means of MPPT algorithm. So MVPT nothing but the maximum power point tracking algorithm. So why we are going for maximum power point tracking algorithm? That means the PV power right. It going to be vary with respect to irradiation and temperature and also the peak point for that uh, irradiation and temperature going to be vary time to time. So that means uh, irradiation going to be changed right time to time right. The peak point operation of the PV also going to be changed. So we need to uh, extract that maximum power from the PV by by using some method. So here we are using MPPT, nothing but maximum power point tracking algorithm. So here we are using incremental conductance MPPT algorithm. Okay. So here that algorithm is having two inputs. So one is PV voltage and PV current. Okay. So based upon PV voltage and PV current right so this algorithm having this logic okay so here you can see that you have to in slice uh, four parameter so initial duty cycle maximum duty cycle and then minimum duty cycle and then uh, step change in duty cycle okay increment and decrement with the small change in duty cycle with respect to condition of that incremental conductance MVPT. So in order to implement that incremental conductance MVPT, so we have to initialize this uh, parameter V volt, P volt, T volt, M and I volt. So this is nothing but the previous instant voltage power duty cycle and current. So initially this uh, parameter does not have any value. So we need to initialize that parameter. So here you have to check the value for V volt, whether it is empty or not. If it is empty, right? So you have to initialize the value for V volt, P volt, I volt, and D volt. Okay. So next to process, you have to calculate power, change in voltage, change in power, change in current. Okay. So next thing is. Uh, after calculating change in voltage, change in power, change in current, next you have to check the condition for incremental conductance MVPT. So first you have to check change in voltage equal to zero. If it is equal to zero, next you have to check the change in current. If it is equal to zero, change in current equal to zero, then the PV already operated in the maximum power point condition. So no need to do anything in this. Uh, that that means no need to do any modification in the duty cycle, current duty cycle. So you have to uh, maintain that uh, duty cycle which is equal to the previous instant duty cycle. If suppose the change in current is not equal to zero, so then you have to check the condition of a change in current is greater than zero. If change in current is greater than zero, then we need to decrement the duty cycle. If change in current is less than zero, we need to increment the duty cycle in order to adjust the operating point of the PV towards to maximum power point condition so this is the first condition for that uh, incremental conductance MPPT so next condition for that incremental conductance MPPT so here you have to compare the incremental conductance the change in current developed by change in voltage should be equal to minus I by V if this condition is true PV already operated in the maximum power point condition then no need to do anything in the duty cycle okay you have to maintain the current duty cycle which is equal to previous instant duty cycle 
if suppose this condition is not true so you have to check the increment conductance and di by dv is greater than minus i by v if it is this condition is true then we need to decrement the duty cycle or else we need to increment the duty cycle in order to adjust the operating point of the pv towards the maximum power point condition so after calculating this duty cycle so next you have to check the duty cycle whether it is in between maximum and minimum limit okay if it is in between maximum minimum limit no need to do anything in that duty cycle so you have to take as it is if suppose is this is not obey the that mean it is greater than d max and less than d minimum then you have to maintain that current duty cycle which is equal to previous duty cycle and here you have to override the, the current duty cycle voltage power and current with the previous duty cycle voltage power and current this code will be keep on executing every instant in order to find out the duty cycle for extract the maximum power from the PV system so next you have to see about uh, battery so here we have battery so battery having rating around 12 into 20 that mean 240 volt battery so battery rating is 48 ah and then initial state of charge is 50 percentage so one more thing i need to provide the detail that mean power rating of pv is 2000 watts the single panel having 250 watts here we are using 8 panel so total power generation from the pv at the standard test condition is 2000 watts the voltage at maximum power point of uh, single PVR is 30.7 the current at maximum power point of single panel is 8.15 amps here we are connecting 8 panel in series so then we will get the voltage across the PV array which is equal to around 245 volt so the 245 volt will be stepped up to 400 volt by means of this boost converter along with the this incremental conductance BPT. Now comes to the battery, right? Here we have the battery. So battery rating is 240 volt with the 40 dH. The 240 volt when we step up to 400 volt, and also we need to exchange the power between both directions. So that means we need to charge the battery, or we need to take take the power from the battery. So then we need to connect bidirectional converter in between this battery and uh, the common DC bus so this bidirectional converter also will be designed based upon the, the rating of this boost converter and this bidirectional converter going to be controlled by means of voltage control method so for that we go to measure the, the DC bus voltage the DC bus voltage will be compared with reference voltage that means here we are going to maintain in DC bus we are going to maintain around 400 volt so that that uh, actual DC bus voltage is going to be compared with 400 and it going to be processed via PA controller and it going to be generated the pulse via this pedulum generator so this pulse is going to be controlled this by bidirectional converter okay so this converter going to be maintained the DC bus voltage around 400 volt always and this pulse going to be used to control this boost converter for extracting the maximum power from the PV and boost the voltage from 245 to 400 volt. So next you have to see you put electric vehicle with the SRM motor. The electric vehicle with the SRM motor, right? It will, it consists of a, a local. That means you consider any electric vehicle. Electric vehicle consists of a local load as well as a motor drive. Okay. So here we have local load. Uh, local load nothing but lamp load and other load other stuffs in the electric vehicle and then the main load nothing but electric motor okay so electric motor here we are using is SRM motor SRM nothing but a chuchur electric motor so here we are using 8 volt chuchur electric motor and this is the rating of that uh, chuchur electric motor and then this is a converter used for the switch uh, reluctance motor and here we are measuring the detail of SRO motor like arms that mean 
current through the SR motor, torque of the SR motor, speed of the SR motor. So here we are measuring the speed of the SR motor and then here we are calculating psi from that speed and alpha beta. So the in position sensor, okay. So here we are using position sensor. So the position sensor will be calculated at the psi and then here we are providing the reference speed for the SR motor. That means here we are going to control that SR motor uh, like uh, uh, initially you have to acceleration concept and then you have to maintain some speed. After some time we have to apply deceleration concept. So like that you have to create the speed command here. So from 0 to 1.5 the speed will be increased from 0 to 2000 rpm from 1.4 to 3.5 the 2000 rpm will be maintained constant from 3.5 to 5 the speed will be changed from 2000 to 0 rpm so for creating acceleration and the ideal the acceleration and the constant speed and the deceleration mode so here we are using this command and actual speed and the reference speed going to be compared here and then it going to be processed by PA controller and the output of PA controller is multiplied with the sigma and then it will be generated the current reference this current reference will be compared with the actual current of the SRM motor and then going to be processed via hysteresis controller it will be generated the getting pulse for the term converter so this converter will be control this SRM motor in order to maintain the speed and then as per the reference speed and also it will be uh, maintain some that mean uh, maintain that power according with the load in the dielectric vehicle so this is a control logic of SRM motor so next we have to explain about the results right so here we have different results so first one is here you can see that PV voltage PV current PV power and here you can see that this is a DC bus voltage electric vehicle input current electric vehicle input power that means voltage and the current and power of this this point right and this is nothing but voltage current and power of the battery and this is SOC of the battery so next you have to see about that mean uh, parameter of electric vehicle that mean voltage of the SR motor flux of the SR motor and then current of the SR motor and here you can see that this is the the electromagnetic torque of the SRM motor and the speed of the SRM motor and compared with the reference speed. So these are the detail we have to discuss now. So now we can see that and also that the irradiation of the PV right it going to be changed dynamically so initially it going to be maintained at 1018 per second and then 800 and then 500 and then 400 and then 300 so here you can see that here we are changing changing the irradiation every 0.3 sorry one seconds that means 1800 500 300 100 again it going to be changed to 800 okay so up to you have to see the result up to 100 here so because of change in irradiation we need to extract the maximum power from the PV so based upon the DMPPT algorithm so here you can see that right so for every irradiation changing point right the PV power extraction will be changed according with the, the peak point of the PV so this is a change of PV voltage so this is PV current and the PV power so because of reduction in the PV power right um, so we need to supply some power to the electric vehicle that means that mean SRM motor as well as local load of the electric vehicle okay so based upon the PV power from PV power right battery must supply the power to the that electric vehicle load so here you can see that so initially is go for charging mode up to this point right so after that what happened the PV power is and decreasing so PV power decreasing then what happened the battery power is goes to charging mode to charging mode 
in order to maintain the power balance in the system okay so that's why that uh, current uh, the power of the battery in the positive direction and also the current of the battery is in the positive direction so positive means uh, discharging mode negative means uh, charging mode okay so here you can see this is a dc bus voltage the dc bus voltage maintained at 400 volt and this is variation of uh, input current of the electric vehicle based upon the, the speed command and actual speed of the SRM motor right the speed will be increasing like this and then maintain like this and then is decrease like this right so based upon this uh, command of the speed reference the actual speed of the machine also going to be follow the reference and also the input current and input power of the electric vehicle also like this you will get this like this okay so here you can see that the power balance of the system maintained always zero and also the speed of the SRO motor is uh, follow that uh, command reference speed and battery will be uh, moving from ch ch charging mode to charging mode according with the uh, power of PV so this is working of uh, solar PV battery electric vehicle with the SRO motor thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also click click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye